What's up guys, it's Jessie from Steezy. Today we're gonna to be setting up a little dance studio in my apartment, all using around $100. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is decide which area to use. You don't need a ton of space, maybe around six foot by six foot corner in your garage, living room, a bedroom like mine. Even the bathroom works. Just make sure you're somewhere that has some privacy and if you have the option, stay on the first floor so that your stomping doesn't bother anyone. Now the first thing every dance space needs, mirrors. We ordered these 10 inch by 10 inch mirrors from Amazon. They came in packs of 12 for 30, 50 each. And we ordered three packs, which comes out to $91.50 total. And to install the mirrors, we got two rolls of this extra strong double-sided scotch tape. They were $4.49 each, which comes out to $8.98. So far, we're at $100.48. All right, so the mirrors that we got were actually trays, like to put on your coffee table or vanity. So they had these little foam feedy things in the back and we're gonna rip those suckers off and stick this double-sided tape on the four corners instead. Now what I'm doing here is marking where I want the mirror to be using this huge ruler. The mirror is gonna be a little bit more narrow than I originally wanted because it turns out my little light switch gets in the way, but we were still able to fit four mirrors across. A hack for making the mirror feel taller is to actually start a few inches above the ground. The only thing that this space right here is gonna reflect is the floor. So start up here and you'll still be able to see your feet and ankles. Once our mirrors were all taped up and ready, thanks Kevin and Clay, I stuck them on the wall, making sure that they're all evenly lined up against the pencil markings that I made earlier. And this is our end product. So we used seven mirrors up and down, which is 70 inches tall or five feet, 10 inches. I'm only 5'4", so that's plenty tall for me. And we used four mirrors across, which is 40 inches, and it actually turned out to be a pretty good size. It's a pretty good size. That will kill you. But if you don't wanna stick anything on your walls, another thing you can do is to get mirrored closet doors. I actually found this one on Craigslist for $50, but the only thing is you need a way to transport it to your place. If you already have speakers, but they're not portable, you can buy a Bluetooth converting device like this one. And boom, baby, now you can control your speakers from anywhere. <laughs> And if you're on a tight budget, you don't actually need speakers to dance. You can play music from your phone or computer or wear earphones. Bluetooth headphones are great for dancing because you won't get all tangled up in your wires. We will link Steezy's recommendations for the best Bluetooth devices in the description box below. And if you want to buy portable speakers, we'll include our picks there as well so that you can flex your dance studio according to your budget. Now, there are so many different ways to build your own dance studio at home, and this is just one of them. It's pretty cost effective and simple and easy. So if you have your own dance space, then share in the comments below what you did. Or if you have any questions, feel free to ask them and leave tips and tricks for other people. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to Steezy's channel. We'll see you next week.